Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, um, I'm actually not quite sure what I'm doing today. Like, funny story, I filmed a video like three or four days ago, and it was like this super pretty brown smoky eye, like an all matte brown smoky eye, and it was gorgeous. And then I got on my computer to edit it, put in my memory card or whatever, and the first like 20 minutes was just gone, and I was just like, of course. I think I decided I'm gonna do the, um, brown one that I filmed the other day. So we're just going to jump right in. We're going to start actually with the skin this time and not the eyes. When I'm doing something more basic, I'll usually start with the skin and then do the eyes, but just for the sake of like when I'm doing brighter colors and like fallout's kind of dangerous, I like to do my eyes first and then go around my skin. Super helpful, but for today's video we're just going to start with the skin. So I'm going to start with a highlighting, I wouldn't necessarily call this a primer, it's just like a liquid highlighter, and under foundation it looks flawless, so good. So this is the um, L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Glotion, it says Natural Glow Enhancer, and I have two shades, it's like, this one's pretty close to my skin, and this one's like, um, so I have 901 and 902, and I just mixed a little bit of those together, but more of the lighter one. So that's what I'm going to do. Gosh, did it get any on myself? Okay, just a little bit of that. I usually only use this on like the apples of my cheeks, my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, my chin, and everything like that. But when I was filming that video the other day, I put it all over my face, and yo, it looked freaking good. Okay, so I have this mixed together with my fingers. I'm just gonna. I know I might look crazy for a second because like highlighted to the max. Oh, that's pretty. Sorry, I'm watching Say Yes to the Dress right now, so if I get distracted, that's why. Well, now we have that on, and you can't really tell on camera, but in person, I literally just look like a glowing goddess that just like walked out of the ocean in Hawaii and was just like, I'm here. So I have two shades of this, just like the highlighter as well. I have W1-2 and W3. So I'm going to be using both. I always like to keep a towel handy when I'm filming because, you know, I've just got a lot of foundation on the back of my hand right now. Okay, so now I'm taking my giant, look at how big this is, my giant beauty blender and I'm going to blend this all out. I hate my ears, so I hate that I'm having to do this, but I really don't want foundation in my hair, so I'm just going to blend this out. I think I actually put a little too much of the dark one in there, but that's okay. I'm not actually going anywhere, so it's not like I have to look good. I mean, I'm going to look good, but it's not a big deal that I put just a little too much of the darker one in there, because... When I film these videos, first of all, it's 8.30 at night. I took a Benadryl, so I'm about to fall asleep. But, like, I'm going to film this. I'm going to take it off, wash my face, and go to bed. Like, I don't wear makeup. I don't. I just... I don't know why. I love makeup so much, and I love the artistry behind it, and I love creating new looks and playing with colors and stuff. It's so much fun to me, but I can't stand wearing it. Like, honestly. Like, in my everyday life, I do my eyebrows, and I put on this mascara. That's it. I just don't. I just don't wear makeup. I don't like the way it feels. I don't like feeling like I can't touch my face if I have an itch or something. You know, like it's. I just don't like it. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But like, I love it so much, and it's so much fun to play with. I just don't wear it. <laughs> so these videos are fun for me to film because I do like playing with it and getting to experiment on myself because I don't have anyone else to experiment on. But I just you know do it and then I wash it off. <laughs> um, I'm going to take some concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and okay honestly this is weird because these concealers you guys can see two completely different shades right light dark two completely different colors but they both say number 10 on them. They both say number 10 but this one says number 10 fair and this one says number 10 light. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be because I always remember this one being 15 and this one being 10. So I'm not quite sure. 
because this one's way too dark for me like obviously that's so yellow and I don't know so just thought I would let you guys in on that I'm gonna just take this and sweep it under my eyes yeah that's a bad glitter. I'm so judgmental when it comes to saying this. I'm like, ew, that's ugly. I mean, like, then again, it's not my dress, but... I usually don't go back in more than two times, but for the sake of how many pimples I got on this side of my face, it's necessary. My boyfriend's in the shower right now, and I'm really scared. He always likes to try to catch me filming because he knows how, like, insecure it makes me. Because I don't know why, I just get like, like, don't watch me, please, it's weird. So I have a really strong feeling he's gonna get out of the shower and like stand outside the door and be like listening because I haven't talked in a video yet because it scares me. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and blend this out. So I'm like waiting for him. I can hear the shower so I'm waiting for it to turn off so I can like shut down. I don't know why it scares me so much. It's just kind of like, I don't know. It just makes me like really insecure and he likes messing with me so. Who knows? I really wanted him to do my makeup for this video. So we did like the boyfriend does my makeup video because I think it'd be funny and he's so confident. He's like, oh, I got it. I know exactly what to do. I'm like, do you? Because I don't think you do. Um, I'm blending this out, covering my eyelids. I like to use um, concealer as eyeshadow primer instead of actual eyeshadow primer. It's not like I don't have any. Um, I really like the, what is it? I really like the NYX Proof It eyeshadow primer. That stuff's great. Um, and the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, I love those, especially when I'm doing, like, bright colors, because it's a really nice white base. Um, I don't know. I, when I'm doing something more basic, I just like to use, um, concealer. I feel like it's easier. Okay, so since this is lighter, I'm going to use it to highlight, too. So I'm going to go on my Cupid's bow, tip of my nose, and my forehead. I used to take, like, okay, honestly, this is disgusting. So I used to steal my mom, my mom's makeup, who didn't, um... But I used to, like, think I was so cool and I made my own makeup. More like, made my own makeup. Um, I literally, I used to take, like, my mom's face powders and I used to crush it up and put it in, like, a container and mix in, like, foundations and lotions or whatever and make my own concealer. And then I used it and I was like, this is my concealer. I made this. And everyone was like, oh my god, you look great. But we were, like, 11 or 12, so they were like had no clue that it really looked like shit. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with um, powder. So I'm gonna be using the beauty counter, as per usual. This is just the mattifying translucent powder. We're just gonna take this on a brush. This is a beauty counter blush brush, but no. Yes, no. I don't know what this is. This isn't the blush brush, because I'll show you guys the blush brush. And I was like, that's a blush brush? No, it's not. So. I'm just going to be doing a little bit on my face because I really love the glow that's coming from that liquid highlighter. But I definitely am going to be getting my eyes because my eyes are hard creasing because the concealer. And my under eye. So definitely getting those two in. So for the eyes on this look, or should we, hmm, should we go straight to the eyes or should we do the face first? I think we're going to go in with the eyes. So hold on, let me dig out my palette. Because it's under all the other ones. Okay, so this is the Morphe 35K palette. I've had this for years, so I don't even know if they make this one anymore. I'm pretty sure they don't. So I'm taking the um, top row farthest to the right color. It's like an orangey brown and a little bit of the lighter brown in the middle of the top row. So we're just going with those shades. I'm in here. And just a small fluffy brush. And we're just putting that... In the transition area, crease area of my eyelid. I want to keep this look really rounded at the corner. Sorry if I sound um, a little winded, you guys. I have been having some issues recently breathing. I know that sounds kind of scary, but um, I've had asthma my whole life. And I think just the time of the year is making it harder on me to breathe. So if you guys hear me like <sighs> throughout this video at all, that would be why. I apologize. Okay, so I'm pretty much using this palette for the entire video. So we are now going to take a... Hold on, let me find it. You don't want to be seen. I love you. 
Okay, so, sorry guys, my boyfriend just got out of the shower and of course tried to come here and listen. But he is now playing video games. Anywho, back to what I was saying. So I'm going to be using a flat definer brush to brush color all over my eyelid. And we are going to be using a dark brown. So let's see, hold on. I want to use a warmer tone dark brown. So I think I'm going to actually, um, that one has some shimmer in it. We're sticking with all mattes today. So the second row of this palette, the one, two, three, four, fifth one in is the one we're going to go in with first. We're definitely going to darken this up. I want it to be like, oh, I haven't even showed you guys the picture what I'm going for yet. Let me pull up that picture. I found this picture on Pinterest so I can credit the artist. It was gorgeous. So that's what we're going for today. So I need to show you guys a picture. This one. Okay. So this is the picture I found. I don't know who the artist is. It doesn't say anywhere on here, but just a really gorgeous brown smoky eye with a lighter inner corner. So we're taking that color definitely tapping off all the excess because we don't want to go in too harsh. I'm rubbing it all over my lid. It feels really weird to me, not gonna lie, to go in with a dark matte shade on my lid. It just feels unnatural. But when everything is all blended and put together, it's so So we're taking the definer brush from earlier and we're just going to start blending those two colors to like like blend super nicely and like mesh, like melt together almost is the word I want to use. So now we're going to go in and work on the lower lash line. So this is the Maybelline New York Master, honestly I don't know how to pronounce this. And I feel bad because I love this product, but it's spelt K-A-J-A-L, so Kajel? I don't know, Kajel? I don't know. But it's just a really nice cool black eyeliner, and I love it. Okay, so we're just going to take this on the lower waterline, and we're going to attempt the upper waterline. This would be much easier. If I had my newer one, because since it is skinnier, it's much easier to fit, but I didn't. So, sticking with the same palette from Morphe, and we're going to take a, where is it? We're just gonna use a brush like this. I'm pretty sure this is Elf and this is their concealer brush. I don't know who can conceal with this tiny brush. I mean, maybe for pimples, but we're going with this and we're gonna take the darkest brown that we used. We're gonna mix all the browns that we used because we did use a few different ones. We're just gonna tap off the excess. I'm gonna use my little hand mirror and this is gonna go on my lower lash line. And this is not even something that we're going to smoke out right now. You're literally just going to lay this down like a line. Same thing on the other side. Okay, so now we're going to go in with this. This is like a... Again, this brush doesn't even have a name on it, so I can't even tell you what it's from. None of my brushes really are name brand. I don't really... I don't put this without sounding rude. I don't really care <laughs> about what brushes I use. I feel as though if you're good enough at makeup, it don't matter what kind of brushes you have. Like, you could you could be using like dollar shade brushes and you could still beat your face and look bomb. So that's just my personal opinion, and I don't feel the need to spend hundreds of dollars on brush sets. That's just me. I don't know. I'm just not in it like everyone else is. So we're going to go in with this brush. Again, I'm breathing heavily. I apologize. And we're going to take the original orangey brown shade and the original light brown shade from this palette that we started with. Just do a little bit of both. Tap off the excess. And we're just going to use this to blend the lower lash line.
Okay, and that is our um, smoked out lower lash line. I hate how much I play with my hair, but honestly, you guys, like, I love my hair curled. Don't get me wrong. I think it looks great, but on camera, like, in the monitor, for some reason, my hair looks like shit. So, I, excuse me if I'm playing with my hair too much. I'm just trying to make it look good for you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so this has been driving me nuts, and I totally forgot. We're going to wipe the foundation off my lips. I feel like that's why I'm, like, looking in the mirror, I'm like, what the fuck do I look like an alien? Like, what's wrong with my face? Now we're going to go in with this pencil brush right here. This is, pretty sure this is Urban Decay. Yeah, this is the Urban Decay. This is an Urban Decay brush. It came with a palette. I didn't buy this. I wouldn't spend money on this. It's not that great, but it is the only brush I have that is of this shape and size. So we're going to use this, and we're going to take a tiniest bit of black, like that much, and then the rest of the shades, we're going to use the brows that we put on our eyelid. Just like this. I'm going to take this. I'm going to pull in my eye just the tiniest bit, which is not the best thing to do. Do as I say, not as I do. It causes wrinkles. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to take it across my eyelid like this. Okay, so now that we're done with that, um, I already have eyebrows on, but this one looking a little funky. This one looks fine. So we're just going to brush that one out. For some reason, this is always the eyebrow I have problems with. Don't know why, but it is. But, um, I swear, you guys, like my eyebrows are such a struggle for me. It's just, it's a, it's a never-ending struggle. Like, never-ending struggle. I shaved off my eyebrows when I was 13 because no one told me not to, <laughs> and. Um, I haven't gone back all the way, so I'm still struggling, you know, with my eyebrows. Okay, so now we're going to move on, and we're going to do the eyelashes. So we're going to curl those suckers, and they look really weird right now because I have powder all over them, so they look like they're blonde. They're not. And I actually like to use two different mascaras, so the, the first one we're going to be using is the Beauty Counter Volumizing Mascara. This mascara is great, but I do have to let people know when they buy this for me. This is a clay mascara, so it's not going to perform well if you don't warm it up. So, like, this whole time I've been sitting here doing my makeup, I had it in, like, the crease of my knee, warming up. So, we're going to go in with this one first. This is the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. I love this one. It's great. That's not the right one. That's my old one. This is my new one. Um, it's great. It gives, makes my eyelashes so long. It's just, there's something missing, you know? There's something missing, so I like to use this and mix it with the beauty counter one. So this one I'm gonna be putting on my lower lashes really quickly. Can you even see me? There you go. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this on my upper lashes. And I was right, my upper lashes do have some mascara like left over from today. So they are looking a little funky here. This would be a look that I would normally apply lashes with. But to be real, we just, we don't got the time. <laughs> so now we're just going to layer over top the Beauty Car Mascara, which is all ready and warmed. Put it in my leg. I love the brush on this mascara, you guys. It's like the, um, is it Too Faced? Yeah, it's the Too Faced by the Sax Mascara. It's, like, totally just like it, except, you know, better. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the rest of our face we are going to be i want this look to be very bronzed so we are going to be using my beauty counter of course my beauty counter radiant bronzer this is the older one they updated all of their like powder products i just haven't purchased it yet but i know it's bomb so this is the older one the newer one is in a circle but this is bomb this is the shade Number one, of course, because I'm light. So I'm going to be taking this with a Real Techniques, what is supposed to be a powder brush, but I love it for bronzing because it's so huge. I'm going to be taking this on my forehead, my temples. I'm just going to take this a little bit around my nose. Not too much. I don't actually like to nose contour. I'm also not into contouring. I don't like it. I'm not here for it. I just think, honestly, this is my personal opinion, I think that just a bronze like this is so much prettier than just a 
like a line of brown on your face. I just think it's not cute. We got a blush. This is the Beauty Counter Ocean and Pacific palette. It's got six eyeshadows, one highlighter, one bronzer, and a blush in it. It's beautiful. You guys, look at this palette. This is definitely for someone who wants to do a very glowy, beachy look, which is probably why they called it the Ocean and Pacific palette. So we're gonna take this on a brush. I'm just gonna put this on the apples of our cheeks and blend it back. I feel like blush just transforms you in a way that nothing else does. Like I feel like once I put my blush on, it just looks so much more like, like alive. Like I'm just living. It's gorgeous. So I use all three of these shades up here. I use Fortune, Destined, and Star Reader, and I mix them all together. Of course, do not use all three shades. It's not necessary. I just don't know what it is about it and about the mix that it makes, but it is just so beautiful I can't get over it. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking a pencil -y brush. Let me make sure that has no color on it. I'm going to take all his shades as well on this. Again, this is a brush I have no idea what brand it is. And we're just going to put this on our inner corner. So we're going to take 61 Matte Naked by Milani. And yes, I know my lips are dry. I need to point it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please subscribe to my channel. It would be so nice if you did. I definitely want to start making more videos. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments because I definitely want some ideas on what to film. Um, I definitely want to get my boyfriend in here soon, hopefully, and I want him to try and do my makeup since he thinks he's so confident about it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.